great beautiful Kalina Park, a little oasis in the middle of the desert here in San Diego. We're here at hole one. It's a par three course. Hole one is 203 feet. For most people, it's a putter shot. Okay, hole two, it's a 233 foot par three. There's a green on the right hand side of the pin. The pin is to the left of that green on a hillside. So you wanna throw something overstable that will stick on the hillside. Most people will throw a gator or maybe a overstable putter. Here at hole three, it's 310 feet. It's the longest shot on the course. It's also one of the most technical. If you look, there's a green that's right next to the basket. It's only about 15 foot from it. There's also a bunker that you can tail out into short. Also, if you put too much hyzer on it, there's a green from another hole that you could skip down onto. So you have to be fairly pinpoint with your shot on this. I like to throw a T-bird just because it's uphill. This is hole four. It's a slightly downhill 195 foot putter shot with a green on your right, so be careful. Here at hole five, it's a downhill putter shot, 221 feet. This is probably the most difficult shot on the course. There's a green directly in front of the basket. You only have about 10 foot behind the green before your basket's there. And also about 10 foot to the left of your basket is a bunker that is not visible from the tee pad. So it is a very, very tricky shot and you have to make sure you place it perfectly. hole six. It's a 273 foot downhill shot. It's a left to right shot. I'll generally throw a Firebird. Uh, depending on how windy it is, I may disc down into say a Gator, but I always throw a forehand shot at this. It seems to be the most consistent. This is hole seven. It's a 189 foot shot. I like to forehand a gator on this shot. There's your green just to the left of your pin. You can make it a little bit sketchy. This is hole eight. It's a 236 foot uphill shot. There's a rather large green in front of your pin that stretches probably a good 70 to 80 feet. And you have to make it over that green. But the problem is there's a drop off behind it with a fence as a backstop. So if you run it, you're looking at a 40 to 50 foot comeback shot. And if you land short, you're looking to take a penalty stroke and a drop in front of the green. So you've got to be careful.
This is hole nine. It's 172 foot downhill shot. Really touchy, easy putter shot. Just let it fly and hopefully you can get an ace. We're here in the Kalina Park Pro Shop. As you can see, they carry a lot of Innova products. It's a good little shop for if you want to come here and get your hands on some first run stuff because it may stay on the shelf a little longer than the other courses. It's a little bit of a hidden gem here. They have anything you need for this course, putters, mid-ranges, fairway drivers. One rule about the course that I do want to mention, there are no overhead shots allowed. So no thumbers or tomahawks. We want to try to keep the greens as good looking as possible here. This is also home to the Pro Kids First Tee program. So all the proceeds from your greens fees go directly to them, a non-for-profit organization. So whenever you get a chance, come by and help out a great cause. This is hole 10, it's a 227 foot shot. There's a bunker short of the basket and a green that's to the left of the basket. Both are out of bounds. It's a little tricky shot because it's on a mound and you typically will get some wind. I like to throw a putter at it. Hole 11, it's a 223 foot downhill shot. There's a rather long green right in front of the basket that you gotta be careful of. This one's another one where you have a fence as a backstop, but you can go over this fence if you're not careful because you get some headwind on this hole. This is hole 12, it's a 271 foot par three. There's a green in front of your basket. You gotta be careful of it. I like to throw a mid-range, either a shark or a rock, depending on what the wind's doing. This is hole 13. It's a 278 foot par 3. It's an uphill shot with a dangerous green in front of it. It's really deceiving and you can easily land short. I like to throw a T-bird just to make sure it gets there. This is hole 14, it's a 231 foot downhill shot. There's a little bit of danger on your right and there's a couple of trees right around the basket that you gotta watch out for, but otherwise it's a pretty straightforward shot. hole 15. It's a 202 foot uphill shot. It's on a little mound between two trees on the left and there's a green on your right you got to be careful for. This is hole 15. It's a 243 foot downhill par 3. There's a green directly in front of you, which is left of the pin that you gotta be careful for. And it's a good forehand shot because you have a little bit of water on your left that can come into play and make it pretty rough. hole 17 it's a 194 foot shot 
gives you a little bit of everything. You're shooting over a small little pond. You also have a green to your right and a bunker that's directly in front of the basket. I like to dart a putter right at the mound and just make sure I keep it up enough to get over the bunker. This is it, we're at the final hole, hole 18. It's a 148 foot putter shot. There's a green to your right and a small bunker that's in front of the basket. Uh, there is some water deep, but it generally will not come into play, so it's a good opportunity to get an ace run in.